today. My name is Keith Altman. I represent a number of the individuals who were killed or wounded in the attack in a lawsuit against the Pulse nightclub. And let me begin by saying, with this horrible tragedy, a memorial is absolutely appropriate and should be done. But there is a problem. And the problem is, is that the ownership of this club is in question and should be considered by the council. Shortly after the attacks took place, the club, which was owned by 1912 um, Orange Avenue Corp, was fraudulently transferred by the Pomas from the corporation um, to themselves, which is clearly inappropriate. They'd already requested um, assistance from their insurance company. They were fully on notice that there was a high likelihood of litigation and they had sought help. Um, the ownership of the club is not clear. And we believe that the council, you know, while, while this is clearly an important task to be done, that the council should not uh, be purchasing the club for the profit or whatever of the Pomas. We believe those funds belong to a number of the victims. And we think that the Pomas receiving these funds is a clear violation of well-established Florida law that says they should not have transferred the property um, fraudulently as they did. It is our understanding that the property was transferred from 1912 Corp to the Pomas for approximately $100, which was clearly to evade responsibility where the club also had completely and totally inadequate insurance given the density of individuals who were using the club on that evening. We urge the city council to consider um, this question. Furthermore, the club itself is still very much evidence in an ongoing litigation, and that before anything can be done to the club, the issue about it as an evidence item needs to be addressed, and that nothing can be done with that club until such time as this takes place. In the end, this is a horrible tragedy and something needs to be done. There is no doubt about it. But there is simply no way that the POMAs who maintained inadequate insurance on the club to meet the needs of, of individuals who died or were severely wounded. We have one client who's in Columbia in a wheelchair. Um, his life has been destroyed. And so we urge the city council to reconcile the ownership of the club before it makes any decisions. Thank you very much for your time.